What's up guys, my name is Coach Jeremy. This is the Welcome to Hockey series where I'm gonna show you how to get into hockey, whether you're a big person or a little person like Mason. Mason, this is gonna be your first year of hockey, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanna do it right now. Play hockey right now? Mm -hmm. Well, we have to get ready first. What's the first thing you need when you're gonna play hockey? You need hockey equipment. Let's get some hockey equipment. So in this video, we're gonna start at the very beginning looking at hockey equipment. Now there's a lot to go over, so we're heading inside the store and we're gonna take a look at what you need to get started. Let's go. Dad, I need my hockey equipment. Yeah, okay, well, what do we need first? Now we need the hockey stick. Hockey stick, that's a good start, actually. Hey, let's go get some hockey sticks. Okay. <laughs> Mason is exactly right. The first thing that you should get if you want to play hockey is a hockey stick. Forget all the other hockey equipment. All you really need to start is something to practice your stick handling and your shooting at home. Let's see what Mason picked out. Hey Mason, what'd you get? I got you some rolly balls. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. For the little guys, just get some fun balls, mini pucks, a stick that's about their right height. Let me see that stick, Mason. This is a good time to talk about the right stick height. And now we some okay, we're gonna talk about hockey sticks first. When it comes to picking out a hockey stick, the first thing you wanna do is find one that is about the right height for you. So I'm six feet tall, I'm gonna be looking for a senior stick. Mason is quite a bit smaller, he's gonna be looking for a different type. So the different types of sticks. We have your senior stick, this one comes to just about under my nose, I'm six feet tall. There's the intermediate stick, that is going below my chin. And then there is the uh, junior stick, which is quite a bit... Mason, shh. Then there's the junior stick, which is about up to my chest. And then from there, there's also youth sticks that are even smaller. And then there are the, the mini sticks, which are pretty much meant for using off the ice. But if you have a really small dude, like a two-year-old, a mini stick might be perfect for them to practice their stick handling and shooting and just mess around at home. Something else that's gonna change is your flex. So a senior stick is gonna be anywhere from about 70 up to over 100 flex. Your intermediate's gonna be around 50 flex. Uh, your junior sticks are going to be about 40 flex and then your youth sticks can go all the way down 40, 30 and 20 flex. If you're wondering what flex means, it's the amount of force it takes to flex this stick by one inch. So this 85 flex stick is going to take 85 pounds of force to flex at one inch. Whereas this 40 flex is going to take a lot less. A good starting point for your flex is about half your body weight. So if I weigh 180, I'm gonna go with about a 90 flex, maybe a little bit lower if I wanna do mostly snap shots and wrist shots, or if you're a bit newer. Once you get a bit better form, maybe a little stronger, you can go up higher with flex, especially if you wanna take a lot more slap shots. Typically, people go with a higher flex then. Once you get your stick, you might wanna cut it to match the right height for you. Your stick height is personal preference. I like to start with it just below my chin while I'm on skates. I find that's a perfect level to be able to control the puck. It doesn't really get in the way. If it's too long, it can kind of interfere with your stick handling. It can affect your posture. And if it's too short, the same thing. But remember, it's all personal preference. So typical guideline. If you're a playmaker, if you like to stick handle, you'll probably want it below your chin or even down to your chest. Some of the guys in the NHL have it about chest height. If you're more of a shooter, you might want a little bit longer because then you can get a little bit more power out of that shot. So it's all up to you. Uh, also defensemen like a bit of a longer stick, better for uh, intercepting passes, poke check, stuff like that. But it's all up to you. Then there's a question of which way are you going to shoot? Typically your dominant hand goes on top. So I do all my fine motor movements, my, like eating and writing with my left hand. I put my left hand on top. I find that's a lot better for stick handling. This is just a common principle. It's not a rule. There are some players that have their dominant hand on the bottom. Usually those guys are better shooters. Uh, so you can pick up a stick, you can play with it, see what feels most comfortable to you, but you can use this as a general guideline. And of course, there's the question of how much should you spend? When you're first getting into hockey, I don't recommend buying the top of the line stuff because you don't know what your preferences are. I'd start with the lower price sticks, especially for your little guy. And I'd recommend just getting a cheap wood stick, let them see if they actually like hockey, uh, get, let them uh, understand how to shoot, and then once they develop some skill, then the higher end stuff will help them and benefit them. But right now, just start off with something affordable. Mason, we got a stick. What should we get next? Next, some skates. Oh, great idea. Let's go get some skates. I found a skate. Oh, right up there? Let's get some. A stick is all you need to get started because you can practice your stick handling, your shooting at home. You can play some ball hockey with friends, street hockey, anything like that. But eventually you're gonna to wanna to get on the ice and that's when you need your hockey skates. So let's take a look at the skates. Mason, you got your skates on? Okay, so when it comes, it is too big, that's right. When it comes to skates, you gotta make sure you get the right size. It's so important that they're comfortable. So this one is obviously way too big. So we have a bit of a smaller one here. Mason, does this one feel good? Yeah. 
Getting comfortable with skates, I'd say, is the most important thing to do because if your skates are not comfortable, you're not gonna enjoy yourself out there. A few things that you should know. Your shoe size is typically a size and a half more than your skate size. So I'm 11.5 in, in shoes. I'm a size 10 in skates. There's also the width of your foot and also your foot arc. Those can all make a difference in getting the right fitting pair of skates. That covers your skates. If you want to save money, you could buy secondhand. That's always a good option. Uh, what should we get after we have our skates, Mason? Helmets. A helmet. Great idea, because you got to stay safe, right? Let's go look at helmets. If you want to play hockey, you have to know how to skate. So you got your skates. I recommend going out to public skating first because it's really cheap but you should get a helmet because there's a pretty good chance you're gonna fall, so let's look at helmets. When you're looking for helmets, there's a lot of different options. The, what you're gonna look for most is probably the price point. If you're just starting, a lower end price point should be fine if you're not playing competitively. Once you get into more contact sports or you know playing at a faster speed, you might want to go for the more expensive ones. For your fit, you're gonna to wanna to try them on, get something that is the closest fitting, so you don't want it really loose, wiggling around. You also don't want it tight, so it hurts your head. So you find one that uh, fits snug, and there's also some adjustability that you can do to fine tune that after you find something that fits properly. For anyone playing hockey, I definitely recommend getting a cage. It's gonna protect your face, and especially for the young kids, even just learning how to skate, if they fall on their face, they could get hurt, so put a cage on there. Hockey stick is enough to get you started. Then you want skates and a helmet to go out for public skating. After that, you wanna sign up for hockey. You're gonna need the full kit, so I've got everything laid out behind me. Let's go over everything you need to play. I'll try to do it in order, too. This is everything you need for hockey. It looks like a lot, and it is, but you need all of this, right? You need your shin pads to protect your shins and your legs, your knees from shots, uh, hacks and slashes. You got your pants, a little padding, a little bit of extra protection right in there. Shoulder pads, those can be optional. Uh, most newer players use them. Some of the guys that are uh, in men's league that don't do slap shots, body contact, they don't go with shoulder pads. Uh, elbow pads, that's really important if you're gonna fall. It hurts a lot if you fall on your elbows, so I recommend some good elbow pads when you're starting. Uh, helmet, obvious. So how are we gonna put these on? We're gonna start with the jock. This is how I do it. There's other ways to do it, but this will get you going. So jock first, then your shin pads. You pull the socks over the shin pads. You attach it to the Velcro right there. Pull your hockey pants on. That'll, lots of room there to pull over the shin pads. Then I'm gonna put on the skates. Lace those up nice and tight. Then we're gonna go with the shoulder pads, then the elbow pads, then pull the jersey over that. Then we're gonna go with the mouth guard. Kids have to wear this for minor hockey. It's optional for adults. Then we have your helmet and your, your cage is gonna be attached to it. It's not right now. And then throw on the gloves. Then you grab your twig and we've got the hockey tape because you're gonna to have to tape that twig. I've got videos on how to do that. All right, Mason, we got all the gear we need. Now what do we have to do? <laughs> you have to say it faster. So the next videos in this series, I'm gonna show you how you can learn how to play hockey at home, make it as easy as possible to get to the level where you can join a hockey team. It can be really complicated. There's a lot you have to learn, how to stick handle, how to shoot, how to skate, passing, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go over all of that in future videos. So hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.